What's going on guys? Clifton Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Everybody wants to talk about run and gun all the time. Well, hey guys, when you're running and gunning, there's not always the perfect tree, right? So there's not always the tree that you can get up in a saddle, that you can get up in a climber, you can get up in a lock on. And the reason that I like to think about that guys is thinking about the foliage that's on top of the trees, right? So sometimes you find yourself in a situation where if you get over five or six foot off the ground, you can't see down to get that shot. Well, hey, Muddy's come up and uh, they've got this Muddy Ultimate Seat. So uh, again, guys, I think it's a tool in the arsenal. I don't think it's a one, one size fits all. You never know what you're gonna find when you're out in the woods. So why not have an arsenal of objects to help you succeed? I call some one percenters all the time. That's because if I can use it 1% of the time, I'm gonna use it right. If it can help make me successful, that's what I'm gonna go with. This thing's super awesome as far as ground and pound. So everybody wants to do that run and gun. Part of that is gonna be ground and pound. You can't always do it from a tree. So if you go find yourself one of these, a couple of things before we get it on the tree that you need to remember. Number one, it doesn't come assembled. Um, so assembly is required. In order to do that, you're gonna need two half inch wrenches, two seven sixteenths, and two nine sixteenths. So just remember that. You don't wanna grab this thing, pick it up, think you're going straight to the woods with it because you got this buck locked down and you know exactly where he's at and you want to go out that day and try to get on him. You can do that, but these are some tools you're going to need to be able to put this together to get to the woods. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a second, put this thing on a tree and kind of explain to you the heights, what you should do, shouldn't do, those kind of things with it. So number one, once you get it completely assembled, this is what it looks like, right? It looks like your normal, what I would think of like a lock-on style um, chair it's pretty comfortable um, everybody that's used one of these kind of chairs they're good they're pretty comfortable one thing I like about them is they're breathable right so it's not like a solid thing where you can get up there get to sweating or you know have problem with water pulling up and that kind of thing one cool thing about it is it does fold up so if you were gonna leave this strap to a tree you could fold it up keep it from gathering up stuff and basically ruining the seat I keep a bungee strap inside of my lock-ons here on the property so that I can fold them up like this so they don't catch leaves and stuff like that and degrade the actual fabric itself so underneath you're gonna find this it's basically kind of like a set screw why is that thing important well if you're up in if you're gonna put this on a tree and the trees at more of an angle you can take that 9 16 inch wrench drop it inside your little fanny pack or your backpack whatever and it gives you the availability just to adjust that for comfort so one thing you want to remember whenever you set one of these on a tree when you're setting this on a tree your purpose is to be sitting right so you want to set it about knee height just like if you were using a climber you want everything about that kneecap level that way um, when you're sitting down you have that 90 degree angle that you can work with so these things are going to be awesome for setting up one of those little makeshift ground blinds that you can buy that just kind of quarter way wrap around you halfway wrap around you or if you uh, can get in there find you a treetop kind of pull some of that stuff over so what we're gonna do now we're gonna go ahead get this thing on a tree and show you what i mean by that knee high setup all right guys so it does come with like a little pull strap here um i'm usually not a huge fan of those kind of straps but the way this thing works pulling back on itself it does seem like it works pretty well in order to uh, keep it tight keep it snug up against the tree so the first thing i like to do is kind of rest it on my thigh to give you the option to come around here little hook goes in there it's pretty self-explanatory on how it sets but you get it kind of snug and then you can start messing with it so i know obviously that's way too high why so if i had it set here i wanted to sit on it it's just the corner of my butt that's basically kind of sitting on it so it's not real comfy right so come back to it all right well that's not going to work so just kind of start sliding it down the tree a little bit um again i do that just so it makes it easier on myself come around here tighten this thing all the way down get it set get it cinched and you're good to go one thing that muddy does suggest is keeping two feet on the ground at all times while you're using it that right there is going to be pretty awesome cool thing about this so if you're rifle hunting you've got a shooting stick you can still use your shooting stick have it up in front of you be able to shoot if you're bow hunting it does give you that availability that you're open you're free it's just like being in a lock on up in a tree you can pull your bow back you can shoot one cool thing about it not having like legs that fold under or whatever is that if i'm sitting here and i'm like oh no this deer's going to come in on my right i can spin grab the bow pull back and take the shot there and uh and i'm gonna be just as successful so it does have the flex tech seat it's got an 18 by 13 inch diameter and it's rated for 300 pounds i'm gonna guess this thing's around five pounds it's not very heavy um, one thing that i would suggest if you do end up going and getting one of these guys get you some kind of little strap 
so that you can throw it over your shoulder. You actually might be able to use the strap that's on the tree, but it just make it easier for you as far as moving around in the woods. But again, guys, if you find yourself in that situation where you can't get in that tree to harvest that buck, his bedding area is in an area that's way too thick. It's got too much foliage. You can't shoot down through it. For 35 bucks, man, you can get on maxperrywings.com. You can stop by Max Perry Wings and you can pick one of these things up. And again, guys, it's $35 and it's another tool in your arsenal. So don't miss your opportunity at that deer this year, guys. Um, that's all I've got for y'all today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell up top. You never know when we're going to do a product that just might give you that advantage um, that you need to harvest that buck. So until next week, guys, that's all I've got. Good hunting.